so after watching this video you're going to have an faq section like this one over here your customers can just come to this web page and just check if they have any questions at all they can just click over here and they can get their answers let's say they want to say do you accept paypal you can just write your answer over there and let's say they want to ask do you charge for shipping you can say no go get your own truck no i'm just kidding on that one anyways before we start my name is kuzai from marco.com i'm going to be teaching you today how to make this section over here usually i teach people how to make a full complete website however if you like that you can just smash the subscribe button and leave me a like i would really appreciate that okay so let's get into exactly how we can make a section like this one over here so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my dashboard right so when i go back to my dashboard i'm going to add two things okay i'm going to add elemental and a page to put my faq section now the reason why i use elemental is because i don't want to add too many plugins because that's going to make our website very very slow so let's just add elemental to do that you just hover over plugins then click add new okay now let's search for elemental this is by far the best page builder there is okay so if you don't have elemental i don't know what you're doing and you probably don't know what you're doing too okay i'm kidding on that one as well so let's just wait for you to install okay then activate now that we've done installing elemental let's go into the pages and click add new so the page i'm going to add is obviously going to be an faq section however i do want to make it clear that you can add this faq section on any page whether it's the faq faq page or you can add it on the home page whatever page that you want even the product page that would be a much much better option if you can add on your product page because your customers can now ask questions before they buy the product and maybe that may help boost conversions so i'm going to change the template from default template to elemental full width then i'm going to click on publish then publish okay now let's jump into exactly how we can make this section using elemental so i'm going to click edit with elemental okay so before we start making this thing with elemental let's go and see exactly what kind of structure we are looking for over here well the first thing the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a block where i'm gonna put this header icon over here this icon with the header over here then this border then i'm gonna add another block where i'm gonna put these questions right here so i'm going to have to add two blocks but right now let's start with the top column so let's add the top column over here which is just one block this block right so instead of adding text in here i'm not going to be adding text i'm going to be adding icon lists i'm just going to search for icon list then i'm going to drag it and put it over there then since I, I only need one i'm going to remove this one i'm going to remove that one then this one i'm going to have to make it center and i want to make it somewhere around 50 pixels because i want it big okay so let's go to style i'm going to put alignment to center then i'm going to go on icon and i'm going to make the icon 50 pixels i'm going to make the text now go to typography then make it 50 pixels okay i got this right this time so now let's let me change the text from list item one to something like faq section right so i'm gonna go here and i'm going to go and type faq faq then i'm going to go back to style and under text here i'm going to click typography then i'm going to change this to let's say 700 yeah 700 looks much better then i'm going to go back to content i'm going to click on the faq then i want to change the icon right change the icon i'm going to search for question then i found question is this one over here then insert okay nice right now we want to add this bottom border over here we also want to add it just down there before we start styling anything we just want to make sure that we have all the elements inside right inside of the of the column so let me just click on the rubik's cube 
then I'm going to search for border. I'm going to search for divider, sorry, divider. Okay, this is the divider I want to put. Ah, there it is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, this is just a straight line and this is not a straight line. So I want to change the style of the divider to make it look like this zigzag here. So let me go to style. Then I'm going to go and click on slashes. Great. Now, as we can see, this divider looks similar to this divider. Now, let's make this divider a bit smaller so that it only covers the area that has the icon on top. So let's do that. So I'm going to, first of all, change it from 20 to something, from 100 to something like 20. Now it's 20. Then I'm going to make it center like this. I'm going to make it center. Now it looks good. Now, let me change the background color of the whole entire column, right? Because as you can see over here, this column is a different color. So I'm just going to click this color using the colorzilla extension. Then I'm going to go here and on style, on background type, on classic, I'm going to add a new color. Just paste it in there. And there it is. Okay. Now, as you can see, it looks not much, much better, but we have to do some adjustments to it. We need to make sure that the icon is close to that text over there and everything is white. Okay. So we want to make sure that everything inside this column is white. So let's go back and just edit this. The icon, let's change this to white. Let's go to the text. Let's change the text color to white. All you have to do is just to drag it to the top or you can just click FFF uh, uh, -F -F six times. Now let's go and also edit this. Let's turn it to white again. Okay, this is great, now. Huh? This looks nice. So now let me just put this text closer to this icon. So on alignment on the list, I'm gonna put it center. The icon, I'm gonna put it this side. The text. Okay, now it looks much better. Okay, now, now that we're done with this part, we, the only thing that we're left to do is just to put this bottom border style over here. So I'm just going to go to the entire section. Go to shape divider, not border, shape divider. Then say on bottom, type, click arrow. So as you just clicked arrow, you see that on the bottom over here, there's a little arrow over here, which which also suits the design that we have over here, which also matches with that. So now that we are done with the top section, now let's go and edit the bottom section. Okay, so I'm not going to be designing this using an FAQ plugin or anything like that. I'm just going to be using the toggle option in Elementor. This is the best way because you get even more features than just an FAQ plugin. So let's go and put on toggle. So this is the one we want to use. But first of all, let's add three columns to this part of the website. I'm going to add three columns. Then I want to make sure that this center column is bigger than these other two columns because we're not going to be putting anything on the other two columns. So I'm just going to change the width of this column by clicking on this left top corner, left top corner over here. And I'm going to put it to, let's say, I'm going to put it to 20. Then I'm going to change this, click over here and put the size to 20 as well. Now this is much, much bigger. Now I'm going to go to here over here and put on toggle. Then I'm going to drag it and put it to the center like that. Okay, great. So now that we have our toggle options, the only thing that is left for us to do is to add the questions and the answers. So here I can put something like, uh, like what I put over here. Do you charge for shipping? I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So do you charge for shipping? And of course, the right answer for that would be no, go get your own truck. <laughs> Don't put that on your website. I'm just kidding. Okay. So that's how you add your questions and your answers right all you have to do now is just to add more and if you want to add more in a very easy way you can just click this duplicate icon over here like this so now you see i have one two three four now just by clicking this icon over here and now the all you have to do is just to change the what the question and the answers 
Okay, now I'm going to click update. Now let's go to the website and see how it looks like right now. <clears throat> let's refresh. It's slash FAQ section. Okay, so this is how it looks like right now. Of course, it doesn't look anything like this as of right now because we haven't made the necessary tweaks. All you have to do now is just to change over, change the question and put in the right answers, right? So however, I also want to show you exactly how you can put in these dotted orders over here. So let's also do that. So I'm going to go back over here. Then I'm going to go on this section. Then I'm going to say click on edit column on the top left corner there's gonna be an icon over there just click on edit column so i'm gonna go to style then to border then the first thing you have to do before you do anything the border type choose dotted right then there's gonna be another option that's gonna appear which which says width the first thing i want you to do is to delink this so click on the link icon to delink it then increase the right to two or three then the left to two or three then click update so now if you go back to our page and we refresh like this you can see that this dotted this dotted border is connected to the top section so we also want to fix that right so let's get back over here then i'm gonna click on all of the section like this the whole second column this dots over here on top edit section then i'm going to go to advanced then i'm just going to increase the margin right so i'm gonna click here increase the margin to something like 20 then click update so as you can see now there's no space between this section and that section and if i refresh over here you can see that it's now looking much much better so <clears throat> this was it for this tutorial if you enjoyed the tutorial i would really appreciate your subscribe and a like I'll be releasing more full courses on how to make a complete website like an e-commerce website, a DV website, blog website. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Peace.